in all the scenes you've done, Lex, have you had a situation where you just couldn't rise to the occasion? Maybe two years ago um, with a wonderful girl named Summer Briel. And, um, I, and then I failed with Annika Albright, who's Female Performer of the Year. Um, and these are by no fault of the girl I was working Isn't with. Isn't the blonde hair? No, 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 no. <laughs> I even tell you a quick story with Lexi Bell, who's a, an, another, you know, beautiful young girl, you know. Um, I, I bombed with her because while she was incredibly attractive, I'm not into small women. Mm -hmm. And she's petite. And, and she I looks just, like she's 12. Exactly. <laughs> I, and that's not my cup of tea. Yeah. So the problem is, is, is when you get to a certain level in the industry, people are less apt to give you any help if you need it. Whereas mm -hmm. if I was perhaps lower on the rung, on the, on the ladder, you know, perhaps they'd be like, hey, you know, do you need anything? Or well, well, if I have a problem, I'm left to crash and burn. So when I'm having problems with me, people will sit back and let me totally bomb. That's, see, that's fucked up. Because even as a, pr that's my job as a performer. Like if you were to, first of all, you weren't, this guy was like this oh, yeah, the whole man. time during our scene. <laughs> yeah. But if a dude is struggling, look, and it, it happens, it happens. You like had you guys not, not be able to perform? Um, they've always performed, but you know, like later after the scene, they would apologize and they were like, yo, I wasn't on my A game, like had a huge mm. argument with my girl at home. That gets in their head. Mm -hmm. I don't know what their issue is. When, you know, it, it's hard not to always bring your home issues to set. Sometimes it just gets into your head and fucks you up. But I'm there, like, look, I'm like, what do you want me to do, to suck your dick longer? I'll scratch your balls, and that stuff helps. Like, I'm serious, like, <laughs> I'm like, mm -hmm. what do you want me to do? I'll do it, it's just, it's part of my job. I'm a performer, I want my scene to be mm -hmm. A plus, so I'm gonna do extra if you need me to help you get your edge on. And girls that will just sit there like this, like, it's your job to get hard, like, I don't, I never understand that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's just a bitch because move. Because it's gotta be a collaborative effort. Yes. For sex, you know? I mean, you want you both want the scene to be like amazing, you know. Yeah, but some girls don't have the mentality. Some girls are like, you know, I'm gonna look a certain way, and, and they'll leave you out to dry. Right. Now, now, luckily, one of the things I've learned is how to establish chemistry with the, with the people I'm working with. It is something that has to be addressed as soon as you walk in the door. Mm -hmm. Like as soon as I walk in the door, I'll say hello to everybody, but I walk straight to the girl I'm working. If I don't know her, mm -hmm. I'll introduce myself to her. But like, hey, you know, let's have a good time today. And my thing is like this, it's already concluded that we are going to have sex, right? Right. So why not? So then you don't have to be pretentious. You're just like, hey, yeah. you know, we're gonna bone in about 15, 15, 20 minutes. In the interim, how are you? You know right, what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, it's a psychological thing. You've gotta be able to get yourself to a place where you can operate. Put it like this, you ever see a professional baseball player walk into the batter's box and you, if you watch a guy when they're getting ready to bat, when they walk into the bat, look at the calm that they are at when before they step into the plate. They're calm because they need to get into a point where they can focus on a projectile moving 95 miles an hour at them and they've got to hit it. So the, the calm comes when you get to a level where you know When you know you you're fucking good. <laughs> yeah, and it's this, it's this thing about two things. It's like when they say when the guys get really good at sports, the game slows down. Yeah. And also the other term is pilot cool, which is pilot cool is f a, th a phenomenon that is seen only in fighter pilots in which their, their, their adrenaline stays at a certain level mm -hmm. and their heart rates don't amp up when they're traveling at 400 miles right. an hour in a dogfight. And they're still just as, have you ever listened to a pilot when he's on, hey, right. how are you guys doing over there? We're gonna be flying at 35. <laughs> and it's because they, they've got this. Right, so that's that's my thing. It's not because I've had a million girls or a, a couple thousand girls. It's not that. It's I have to be as relaxed in order to do what I have to do with the level of focus I got to achieve. I thought he was me one day. You know what I mean? When I heard when I heard some shit that I never even fucking. I'm like when I first got when I first got put on and shit, I'm, I'm, I'm asking myself, when the fuck I do that verse, you know what I mean? I, you know, I text him, I say, yo, what the fuck, yo? Like, yo, like, that was always something I wanted to do, nigga, you kissed Madonna, nigga. He was like, son, have you ever kissed a fucking six million year old pterodactyl? 